What up guys, welcome back to the Fitman Cook Kitchen and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Kev. So today's special guest today in the studio is Connor Saley. And if that name rings a bell, then you probably love reality TV just as much as I do. Connor Saley was on the 15th season of The Bachelorette. He was one of the fan favorites. He stood out among everybody else, not only because of his personality, but also because the man is like 6667. But here's the thing about Connor that maybe you may or may not know. Connor is like a renaissance man. He does everything. This dude works out, he runs marathons, he knows how to fly planes, he can swim competitively. He also does financial analyzing stuff and now he has his own health and wellness company where he is really focused on helping people be healthier and much happier. So Connor does everything. So today, his challenge, he does not know it, is this right here. No, we're not gonna be making up a bow tie or tying a tie. We are going to tie Connor's arm, one arm behind his back because the Renaissance man should be able to do everything. So Connor's challenge is, can you cook up a bachelor worthy Valentine's Day meal with only one hand? We're gonna find out right now. He's coming to the studio. This is Cooking with Kev. Let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, so welcome to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen for the very first time, Dallas native, Connor Saley. Hey! What's up? What's going on, man? How you doing? Jesse, we're gonna, can you adjust the camera? So that way, okay, that we see both of us in here? Okay, great, so let's just make sure. So this is not Photoshop, he's just this mm -hmm. tall. All right, so Connor, man, you do everything. You do finance, you do health and wellness. Yep. All right, you do sailing. How'd you get into that? Uh, I don't do sailing. Oh, I'm sorry. My, no, no, my no. last name. Flying. Flying. Yeah, flying. You do flying. flying. How do you get into flying? Uh, I don't know. I just love being up there, flying around. It's so free and cool. Um, God, I actually found it on buddy. Groupon. You can just fly around. <laughs> <laughs> 99 bucks. Check it out. <laughs> I am not putting my life on with the Groupon deal to go flying. Come and be uh, a it's pilot. Worth it, man. It's only 100 bucks. With a Groupon? <laughs> Is it safe, too? Uh, yeah, it's, it's safe. It's pretty safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you do that. You also run marathons. And what else do you do? Just just go and put it out there. Golfing, travel, a lot of traveling. Yeah, and traveling. Uh, you hmm. like an overall like, renaissance man. You do everything. Uh, I, I try to, I try you to, know. but. That's how you got in The Bachelor? No, some, got... someone nominated me. Okay. Honest, actually, yep. Got a phone call out of nowhere. And then they yeah. found out this guy was just so like multi-talented. <laughs> They're like, oh, we gotta have this guy out here. My question is, can you cook? Uh, a little bit. A not, little bit. Not as well as you though, so I'm looking forward to this. This is gonna be really fun. So one thing that I've always told guys is like, whenever you're trying to cook for a date, for a female, mm -hmm. like, you know, what do you try to cook for them? Uh, uh, I think the last the last date where I cooked, I cooked salmon. Oh, okay, you, with, already, you already answered it then. Yeah. That was is, is salmon a good choice for that? Yeah, because right. I always tell guys, don't cook chicken, mm -hmm. because chicken can be super dry, but salmon is really fatty, it's really right. easy to cook. And so what'd you pair with that salmon? I think I had some brown rice and quinoa and okay. some, some veggies, maybe some avocado too. Oh, she loved that. So you married now? No, <laughs> it was a one date thing. It was a one date? Yeah. Oh, so she didn't make the cut. No. <laughs> we have got a bachelor worthy meal for you today. All now right. I know that you can do everything because you can probably cook this, but Connor, here is your challenge. Here in the Fitman Cook Kitchen, Ooh. we like just to have just a little bit of uncertainty. All right. All right, so here's your challenge. You can open it up. Blindfolded? No. What is this? The tie. Oh. All right. What are we doing with this? So we were thinking, you know, Connor does a little bit of everything, but can he cook a recipe with one hand behind his back? <laughs> so, so you're right-handed or left-handed? Left-handed. You are left-handed? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So we're gonna tie your right hand behind your back. Okay. Interesting. Yep. And you cannot come out of this if you do. It's not a punishment. We just like to do positive reinforcement here in the Fitman Cook Oh kitchen. boy. Okay. There's Ooh. your punishment. One of us has to eat that onion. All so we're right. not gonna saute it. You have to just bite into it like it's an apple. Uh. <laughs> and as we're cooking, I'm just gonna be asking you some questions from the internet. All that right. want to know, the fans want to know about you. Okay, Connor, are you ready? I'm ready, let's are you do sure it. Are you ready? Yup. All right, let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep our tomatoes. Give these a quick spray of some oil and then just do a little pinch of sea salt and pepper on them. 
Uh -huh. And then I want you to pop that into the oven. We're gonna roast All these right. for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now we're going to prep our salmon. So All I right. want you to take this off and I'll do that for you. Appreciate then that. I want you to season it up with some of the sea blend. Pop the top. Yeah, I'm gonna do about a tablespoon and a half. Fitman Cook Sea Blend. Hey, nice. That's my, that's my I like Thank it. you. And then I want you just to do a little bit of olive oil on top and, right. and rub it in, just a little bit. Salmon's already kind of fatty. That's good, good. Perfect, yeah, massage it. Yeah, nice. you, yeah you know how to do that. Oh yeah. Now, I want you to fire up a skillet, put this on high heat because we are going to sear the top of the salmon. All right. Just to lock in that flavor here in the skillet. First, I want you to add some olive oil to the skillet, about a tablespoon and a half, or just a tablespoon, let's see. Now, let's add in the salmon. So you have some tongs there. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do this face side down. All right, so I'm going face down? Face down. We're gonna sear it and move it around so it doesn't stick in there. Just as much as possible, yep. And we're gonna sear this for about a minute and a half. And while you're doing that, I want you to multitask. All right. I want you to tell people, how has your life changed since being on The Bachelorette and also Bachelor in Paradise? Uh, whew. Um, life is definitely different. Uh -huh. I used to work in a nine to five job every day, uh -huh. going to work. Now every day is different for me. Um, I started my own business, so starting to get back and go into an office every day. But oh, sweet. it's just been crazy meeting all the fans of the show. Mm -hmm. And um, life has been pretty wild over the last year. Is it different now? Just like you shopping in general, like in the grocery store, everyone's like, oh my God, that's Connor. Are they doing this, like sneak photos like this? Sneak yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you no. catch them? <laughs> Yeah, certain things like shopping at the grocery store, uh -huh. flying, shopping at the mall. It, that is you, dope. you see people kind of taking photos and stuff. And it's yeah. one of those things too, like, I still don't really get it. Uh-huh. Because it's like, yeah, I went on a reality TV show, but I'm still the same guy. Right. You yeah. know, so when, when people kind of go crazy sometimes, it's, mm -hmm. it's a little weird, but. Okay, I think that's about it. So we're going to flip it back over and put that into the plate. Perfect, that's Ooh, great. That, that is good. That is really beautiful, look at that, man. You know, I've never seared the, the top before. Yeah, I like it's that. locking the flavor to... and it flavors this. So I want you to hmm. drop down you know, the heat. We're gonna put it onto medium high. It'll tell you when. There we go, perfect. And now I want you to add in just a little bit more olive oil. This is a Mediterranean dish, so it's gotcha. gonna be rich in the healthy fat. I want you to add in some onion and garlic. How much you want? The whole here. thing. Whole thing. Yeah. Ooh. You know, we're talking about flavor. Just pick it up. Pick it up for the whole. Okay, start, all right. Start with that. All right. No, kind of, you know how to do it. <laughs> I'll take that for you. Appreciate Help it. Yeah, and then some garlic. Pop it in, fresh garlic. Good. And move it around. Make sure that the, the garlic is not burning, the onions are not burning. Everything is just being flavored together. We're flavoring the oil. This is going to provide the base for our sauce. Gotcha. Next, I want you to add in some capers. Now, I heard that it was pretty accidental how you ended up on The Bachelor. Have you started to watch reality TV now since you've been on the show? Um, I, go ahead, go ahead. So when I was younger, I watched The, the Bachelor with my sister. She oh, was a okay. big fan. And when she went to college, it was a joke between my friends and I. If I was 25 and single, they would nominate uh. me to be on the show. <laughs> and that is exactly what happened. Oh, so now. <laughs> I, they, they didn't tell me about it or anything, but uh -huh. just got a phone call about it. So yeah. I've definitely started wow. watching some reality shows after, but. And what's your favorite one? I like Below Deck. Oh, okay, that's on Bravo, the one isn't on the, it? Yeah, the one on like the yacht. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen an episode of that. So my new one, don't judge me, 90 Day Fiance. Uh, have you, have you is seen that, that on show? TLC? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna reduce the heat just a little bit so we're not burning it. And now, since that's looking really nice, it's smelling great, I want you to check on the tomatoes. And if they are finished, I want you to All add right. those into the dish. I know, I'm not gonna help you. Cause I, oh, I got really, this. oh man. My left hand's pretty you handy. Can... <laughs> <laughs> you Ooh, go. these are looking good. Sweet. And I'm not gonna help. Ooh. All right, add those right on in there. And the trick here now, once we added this in, get them to burst, yeah. Perfect. Nice. They should be hot enough to go ahead and do that. And you can chop up some of those big pieces too. So a lot of oh, women are, good. you know, they're probably gonna ask, <laughs> what was the last meal that you cooked for a woman, for a date? Last meal. It actually meal. turned out to be successful. And what happened to the salmon girl, by the way? We're gonna come back to that. <laughs> Honestly, I think I've only cooked that one 
Sam oh, for real? Yeah. And it didn't pan out? It didn't pan she out. She didn't appreciate it? She, she appreciated it. She appreciated oh, it. okay. Do you have any advice for the guys about cooking for dates? I mean, I think just keep it simple, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say that too? I mean, oh, absolutely. Keep it simple. Yeah, I think a lot of times people try and overcomplicate <laughs> things to really impress someone. And yeah. You're just kind of setting yourself up to fail a little bit. You know, and tell me if I'm wrong here, but but ladies, if you're going to cook for a guy, then sometimes it's just good just to cook what he likes. So cook his favorite food. Mm -hmm. That's one. And also tell women, don't put anything in front of your man that he can't pronounce. <laughs> 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 now is not the time to start doing pistachio crusted yeah. almond chicken bread. <laughs> Just make a chicken, just make him a chicken sandwich. <laughs> All right, if you had to pick one person, you know, who is your celebrity crush? If that's a, that's a tough one. I've been asked that question a lot. I gotta say Zendaya, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. she, she's, she's gorgeous. Okay, Connor? She's gorgeous. Okay. Very talented. I'd love to, love to take her in a day. I'd love to cook her some salmon. Hey, yeah. go ahead and speak to her real quick. Oh, you put me Zendaya. on the spot here. Come on, bro. You are the fan favorite from The Bachelorette. <laughs> and Bachelor in Paradise, and you already have your own company, you better ask somebody, Zendaya? Zendaya? Go ahead. If you're watching this, hey. let's make some dinner together. Oh! Woo! Oh! Guys, <laughs> This is looking good here. This is smelling good. I want you to now add in some oregano. I want you to add in that tomato. And I want you to make sure that everything is melding together. It looks consistent, so that way gotcha. you don't have Part paste. So the real tomatoes were going to help to create that paste. And then our last bit of work here, I want you to reduce the heat just a little bit so it's not burning. You want that moisture. I want you to zest this lemon. See? I know it went yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to help you out this time. Just this once. All right. And I'm going to hold. This right oh, here. I appreciate that. All right. And what a guy. To, I know, right? <laughs> I got your back, bro. Because I want to see you succeed. I did want to see you eat that onion, but. You know, see you I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and this is going to add just the essence of the lemon, not not too much of a sour flavor from lemon juice. Keep that going. <clears throat> We're almost finished, and this is almost ready to be put into the oven. Once you reduce the heat just a little bit more, so we have some more moisture. Now I've been on some pretty bad dates. <clears throat> What's your worst date? Worst date. Or just give me one, maybe that she's. So uh, I. Whenever I get asked this question, I always say this. It's kind of sad, but just being stood up. Oh. That's happened a couple times, actually. Yeah. Was that before The Bachelor? You being stood up? I mean, yeah, that before was before The Bachelorette? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I bet she won't stand you up now. What? One I bet time, she won't actually, stand you up now. Actually, one time <laughs> after, though, too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. She got them cold feet. Yeah, I don't know. I want you to make a little bit of room there in the middle of the skillet. I want you to all reduce right. the heat all the way down to low. I'll just turn it off. And we're going to add the salmon right smack dab right there in the middle. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Hey, Look at that. Nestle it all in there. We're it all up in the juice. All right, so now we're going to bake this in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes at nice. 400. Pretty easy so far? Pretty easy. Okay, Connor, you are not done yet because oh you can't have a meal like this without a side salad. So yep. we're going to have to put this together. So I want all you right. to. First off, mix the salad, and then you have to present it very nicely in this bowl here. Okay. So we've got some mixed greens. We've got some other mixed greens. Because, you know, when you're doing date night, I find that, you know, you don't want to be too basic and just do spinach. Mm -hmm. You got to do at least two greens. So we're right. going we're gonna to do extra, extra, because you're the bachelor. we got some onions, and we also have some... <laughs> uh, God, it, it looks... Is your vision bad? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they, they look like. Like I was gonna say a dandelion, but that's yeah, not. Yeah, they're. I think that's I, a dandelion. I would probably call them that too, but they're edible flowers. Oh, you gonna eat one? Sure. Go ahead and show. Try yeah, show the people. You can eat one of these. Edible flower. Ooh, I find them bitter. I can't believe you ate that, bro. <laughs> Is it actually edible? Yeah, it actually. I know, right? Is it actually edible? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So first, I want you to add the greens in there. Hmm. Flour is not going down easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna add a little bit of onion. Now I want you to add some olive oil. Beautiful. Nice. Hey. Ooh, yeah. Connor with the swoosh. Woo. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that, oh, is that oil? <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna tell me what it's out. Oh, I th <laughs> my fault. Let's do um, a pinch of sea salt and pepper. And I want you to squeeze in some little bit of lemon. 
If you want, we got some apple cider vinegar there. You can also mm. pour that in. Do you take shots of apple cider vinegar ever? I do in the morning time. I do used you really? To. Yeah. Now mm. I don't. <laughs> I just take a multivitamin and oh, get it out of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> pour in a Put little bit in. of the vinegar. Yeah, as much as you like. And then you can use some tongs or you can use your hand just to kind of get in there and massage it. <clears throat> All right, that looks perfect, man. Now, part of a date is also what? Presentation. Oh, you already hit it, man. So we've got to make this thing look really nice. Oh yeah, be one with the food. I want you to do your best Gordon Ramsay impersonation here. And then I want you to actually crush up some of that um, sheep's feta, crumble it up. Ooh, ladies, y'all are just not ready for Connor. <laughs> God, look how disrespectful that just, that just looks, oh, amazing. That looks pretty dope, doesn't it? <laughs> really? And then tell your date, hey, if you never had an edible flower, just push them aside in case you, that looks pretty good, man. Appreciate that. Really that. Good. Why don't you hold it up to the camera, to let people see. <clears throat> All right, man. So I think we are finished. Let's check on our salmon. All right. Get this out of the way. Let me grab your, what's Connor? Oh, oh, are we, are we getting that? Are we getting that? No, oh, no, no, heck no. That was that, a break. What's Connor? Oh, oh, are we getting that? What? Are we getting, are we getting that? Oh, oh, oh. Are we getting, are we getting that? No, oh, no, no, heck no. And he's gonna have to, but I think you might. I think it's a bite for a I bite. Think, I think you may have put him <laughs> into the situation. Jesse, what's that somebody else? Hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> We're gonna split this then, just because, as y'all saw in the rewound footage, that I'm such a good person, oh, that I'm no. going to go ahead and be a good sport and eat half of it, even though he clearly violated the rules uh, by you. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh my God, we got that sizzle Ooh, still yeah. fresh out of the oven. Super easy recipe, right? Yeah, yeah. This plus your beautiful salad. Is bachelor worthy? Oh yeah. Bachelor worthy. Oh now, yeah. How did this dish look compared to the one that you made for that date that you that never progressed past that date? Uh, and it wasn't because you're cooking. We're not saying that at all. We're not even gonna insinuate that. I mean if I was putting out dishes <laughs> like this, there probably was gonna be a second date. Let's see what Connor's made of. You already kinda let me down anyway by telling me I have to eat part of the onion, but it's okay. I feel like we'll we talk should, about that later on. Right? We should eat that before. So we'll talk about <laughs> oh, get, get the bat out of the way. If first. I eat that <laughs> first, I won't be able to taste this. <laughs> Ooh, look at that steam coming off of it too. Ooh, yeah. Ma'am, I'd what go on think? a date with Connor if you could. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, why don't you go ahead and taste your hand All your right. work. And it's flakes some off there. Ooh, it looks really good. I'm gonna get that salt flake right there. Oh, here. Mm. Connor, wow. You did a good job. Man. That's good, is it pretty good? Yeah, your recipe. Awesome, awesome job, man. That was really man. good. There's the a lot of process. flavors and it's really moist, too. Mm -hmm. I hate the word moist, I can't believe I said <laughs> it. Um, We're gonna replay that over and over again. It's really moist. <laughs> it's really moist. I mean, like, a lot of times when I cook, I cook it for way too long and it's, yeah. it gets really dry. Yeah. And so it's not really like good or it, it doesn't have a lot of flavors, right. I guess. But this one, full of flavors. Yeah. Awesome job, man. Thank Appreciate you so it, much. yeah, thank you. Now there is this thing that we have to deal with over here. Okay, here we go, cheers. Best apple I've ever had. Best apple, man, I could do this all day. Oh man. Oh God, oh God, oh God. It reaches a point oh where God. it's not good. It's right here in your nasal, oh. Yeah. Hold on. Oh man, oh man, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, that was a really bad challenge. Wilson came up with that one. <laughs> and to say thank you, we wanted to send you off. So that way, if you wanted to recreate this dish, here is a nice. uh, beautiful stall Whoa. for you to do your own. This one, this one is gonna be good, bro. Yeah. yeah. This one, ladies love when you cook. Mm -hmm. exactly like, oh, he got stopped too? It's classy. <laughs> He's classy. For your energy appreciate that, yeah, yeah. Really appreciate Thanks you. for having me. All right, man. Connor, sign us out. If you like the recipe below, click the like button and uh, check out fitmencook.com. To get the full recipe here, guys, 
Until next time, as always, we want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Boom! Can we get a boom? Boom. Boom! All right, y'all. Peace.